Hi, I'm Fred Riger, operator of Grand Bahama Scuba. I've spent most of my adult life diving off the coast of Grand Bahama, having logged over 15,000 dives, and these are some of my thoughts from the deep. In my first video, I showed visual evidence that the lionfish do not denude a reef of fish life. In this video, I am going to jump ahead a few steps and show serious benefit the lionfish are having on improving the health of the coral reef itself. This is microdictian algae. It is a toxic, fast-growing algae, and it is out of control. Its normal control is thought to be various species of urchin, the most important one being diadema antelarum. The diadema urchins were wiped out of the region by a plague thought to have ridden through the Panama Canal in ship's ballast in 1983. Diadema urchins have been having trouble making a comeback. I think there were two reasons for this trouble. One, microdictian algae covered the reef and its toxicity prevented colonization by recovering populations of urchins. The other being heavy predation on juvenile urchins by small fish which have been allowed to overpopulate the reef due to overfishing by humans. In order to keep my favorite reef sites alive, I have been clearing microdictian algae off the reef since the urchins died out of my region in 1992, removing literally tons of this stuff. Close contact with the reef taught me that this algae is not only toxic, but it causes the infections and spread of several coral diseases. It kills coral to make more room for itself. In order to keep coral alive, I had to remove the algae from as much of the reef as possible, paying particular attention to the edges of living coral. The algae potentiates coral disease. Here you can see a necrotic disease that starts around the algae and kills coral tissue. This is not bleaching. This is an attack on the coral's body itself. Coral is normally very resistant to disease. The algae overwhelms the coral's defenses using a variety of weapons, shade, silt, chemical attack, and is even believed to provide sugar to feed the attacking bacteria until it is strong or numerous enough to overwhelm the coral and begin a disease event. In 2005, lionfish made it to my area in the northern Bahamas. By 2008, I found that I was not having to clean algae off the reef anymore. I went from stuffing and removing two to three net bags of algae per dive twice a day to not filling any bags at all. In 2010, Two local dive operations began killing lionfish on the dive sites where I had been cleaning off the algae. By 2011, the algae had grown back in all those dive sites. The coral is once again under attack, dying of disease and being buried under this toxic mat of out-of-control vegetation. Visiting an area outside of the kill zone of these dive operations shows reef structure virtually devoid of this microdictian. Where lionfish are found on the reef, the algae is not growing. Visiting an area outside of the kill zone of these dive operations shows reef structure virtually devoid of this microdictian. Where lionfish are found on the reef, the algae is not growing. The bare area is being colonized by new coral, which now not only can find a suitable place to implant, but can grow without being crowded out. The coral in these areas is not suffering from near as much disease and show signs of health instead of decline. Much thanks to Pladley for helping with this video. Once again, if you like, hit the button. Subscribe and comment, and I will make more. This is a big subject and will take several more videos to cover even a portion of the interactions that make the reef work. <laughs>